Hello and welcome to the Kipware XC video presentation. Since 1986, over 27 years, Kentec Inc. has been a pioneer and the leader in G-code text conversion software. Our lives on the shop floor taught us that there are multiple inefficiencies that are caused by shop floors that contain multiple CNC's with multiple CNC controls. And as a result, we created our Kipware XC and our Kipware CNC Exchange software that allows users to remove the control incompatibility and all the issues that that causes from their shop floors. Kipware XC is a text conversion software designed to enable users to convert one format of G-code program to another using user-defined parameters. Using what we refer to as a profile, users can specify basically what to convert into what and users can create an unlimited number and types of profiles giving them an unlimited array of conversion possibilities. Thank you for spending some of your valuable time in exploring our Kipware XC software. We can start the presentation by taking a close, closer look at the conversion options available when building a profile. A profile contains a mix of predefined options as well as user created macros take a look at some of the, the predefined options. Here we have what we call the complete line triggers. If for instance I was to input in here G28, every time the software goes through doing a conversion and finds the G28 on a line of code, it would completely remove that line of code. The option is a complete line replacement, in which case whenever it finds the G28, it would replace the whole line with this line that we put in the replacement line. Kipware XC has the ability to do ra radius lathe conversions, diameter lathe conversions, as well as XY mil conversions. We can do programs that are in inch or programs that are in millimeters. The user has the ability to input predefined start and stop commands. So if you only want to convert certain sections of the program, uh, you can put a start and a stop command in there and then the conversions that you define in the profile will only take place between that start and that stop command. We also have a delete code identifier that the user can define. So let's say for instance you wanted to remove all the letter addresses H in the program. You can define that through the delete code identifier and then every time the software finds say an H in the program it would remove it. One of the more powerful features in Kipware XC is the user-defined conversion options under our code macros. Using a list of symbols in our language, the user can do things from anywhere from simple conversions to complex conversions, to breaking up lines, to adding lines of code. So using a combination of the symbols available for the code macro, the user can create an array of conversion options to fit their individual requirements. The number of code macro descriptions that any profile can contain is unlimited. Taking a look at some of the more predefined conversion options, take a look at the circular options. And these are conversions for circular interpolation. The user has the ability to take the R command and convert it to incremental I, J, and K, or take I, J, and K and convert it to let any letter address that the user defines here. We can also convert absolute i, j, and k to incremental i, j, and k or incremental i, j, and k to absolute i, j, and k. Taking a look at the lathe options, we can do a number of x conversions where we can convert x from radius to diameter or diameter to radius. We can invert x-axis coordinates and along with them the geo2 and geo3 commands as well as the i, k, and u commands. So if you have a multi-axis lathe, Kipware XC can do those conversions for you automatically. We have a G and M code separation function so that if the user needs to define only one G code or M code on a line for an older control, Kipware XC can do that as well. We have a number of decimal option conversions so if you have older controls that don't use a decimal point or some controls that don't use a decimal point and you want to convert them to controls that do use a decimal point for instance, Okuma controls don't necessarily need a decimal point, but Fanuc controls do. You can specify a letter address. You can specify whether you want to add or remove the decimal point. 
And in some cases, in cases of five place inch coordinate, we can do that as well. And we have some special decimal conversions. So if you have leading or trailing zeros and you need to get those converted, Kipware XZ can handle those as well. We have an auto offset feature. Let's say you want to add one inch to all your Z commands or subtract two inches from all your X or Y commands. We can do that through the auto offset feature. And in addition, the user can specify a start and a stop command as well as the amount that the offset you want to take place. And as mentioned before, the user can create as many of these profiles uh, as you need. So you can create any multiple sets of profiles to do conversions for the machines on the shop floor. One of the more powerful features in Kipware XC is the ability to piggyback profiles together. So we can have a primary profile and a secondary profile. And this allows you to do some conversions through the main profile and then run that converted file through the secondary profile to do even more conversions. I'm going to load a secondary profile in here and show you how easy it is to convert a program with Kipware. I'm going to go grab a program that I want to convert. What we're going to do is we're going to do some conversions in the main profile and then in the secondary profile we're going to do some decimal conversion options where we're going to take the X, Y, and Z and we're going to remove the decimal points from those coordinates. When it comes time to convert a file, the user either simply selects lathe convert, so you're going to be converting X and Z, or mill convert, where you're going to be converting X and Y. We also have a batch conversion options. So if you want to do a multiple set of files at the same time, we can do it through our batch conversion option. Here the user can define a wildcard for the extension of the files to be converted and also an extension that you want to add to the new converted files. You can define a path and you can also set settings as the default. So if you put your files in a specific place and you want to load these wildcards each time, you can set that as a default and then just come back and load the form. It'll automatically be pre-selected for you. Then hit mill and lathe convert. Software will go through and automatically convert all the files in the, in the original fo folder save them with the new extension to the converted file folder. If we're going to do a single file, basically we can just hit uh, either the lathe or the mill convert. If I want to just open up this file in the editor, I can just open it up in the editor and here on the left hand side you can see I have my original file. And this is a full G-code editor. We can do anything we want to the file uh, in this editor as well. Once I hit the convert button, the software goes through automatically does the conversions and shows me the original file in one screen and the converted file in the other screen. Each of the programs have their own set of editing options where we can resequence, add or remove spaces, or we can define a color palette where we can automatically have the text highlighted for us, or we can remove blank lines, we can separate GNM codes, uh, we can convert from inch to millimeters with just the click of a button or from millimeters to inches with just the click of a button. This is a full G-code editor. Another powerful feature in the editor is the XC override feature. Here the user can specify a letter address, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division or in a value, whether it's a percentage or a straight value. And then the software will automatically go through and do some of these calculations. So for instance, in this case, if you wanted to add 5% to all your feed rates, uh, the software can do that automatically inside the editor screen. Kipware XC is a powerful tool for shops that utilize multiple makes and models of CNC machinery and controls. Some of the uses that we've seen for Kipware XC are eliminating post-processor issues, because Kipware XC allows the user to output their G-code programs in one preferred format and then run the files through Kipware XC to convert them for other machines in the shop. If a program is created for a specific machine but time is unavailable on that machine when production time comes, users can run the G-code through Kipware XC and convert it to a format for another machine and control. Or when purchasing new equipment with different controls, Kipware XC can be used to convert your existing programs used on the previous machine into new code compatible for the new machine and control. 
Also, older machines often cannot accept things like decimal points requiring a specific G code output. Kipware XE can allow users to convert that older code into code compatible with newer machines and controls. The list of uses for Kipware XE is virtually unlimited because we built the software to be powerful, feature packed, yet simple to operate. Kipware XE is available online at kentechinc.com or by contacting us at any of the numbers displayed. Thank you for spending some of your valuable time in exploring our Kipware XC software.